Good day gamers and welcome to another Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. I am just playing my Mistress Shirtugo tune and we are picking up where we left off before with our uh, initial quest. We are outside of Eri, which is where we needed to be. And according to our last entry that we had, it says, I have discovered a mysterious dagger within the ruins of Blood River. I am to journey onward to Eri and ask a local blacksmith there more of this. So that is where we are at right now. So we are outside of Eri. And we are about to go inside and ask the local blacksmith about this dagger. And as you can see here, we have a siege underway. The town is under siege. Which means we will have to pass through a siege, which is perfectly okay. It'll give us something else to talk about. So, let's jump on in here, shall we? And, uh, I'm trying out something a little bit different with my face cam. Um, the whole chroma key thingamajig. So, still working on it. If it's a little fuzzy, uh, let me know in the comments section. And, uh, I'll tweak it and adjust it and perfect it. So... And as you can see, I got rid of the big old round pop filter that I was uh, using before with this mic and got a nice little snug glove to fit around the end. Much preferred. The other thing was getting in my face. So here we are. And I'm actually going to adjust something real quick. Oh, it's custom. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to go to good. Nope, no, no, cancel that. We don't want simple. We're not a simple kind of guy. <laughs> and then we're going to actually change this to maximum. What the hell is that? Oh. It jumped to my other screen. The nerve. All right. There we go. And one other thing. Let's check. Okay. That's fine. Should be good to go. So, pop our light here. And it's raining here, and so this is a forest siege. And uh, when you pop in here, there's two routes to go, straight ahead or to the left. And if you just want to kind of run around it and not deal with all this uh, fighting and stuff too much, usually you can go left and run around it. Um, or you can go straight ahead and fight your way through some stuff. And there's catapults to kill and blow up and everything, so it's kind of cool. It's a good place to gain experience and run around. So speaking of experience, before I continue any further, let's talk about my training I've done so far. So, um, like I said, when I created her, I wanted to have a tune and uh, take everything I learned from uh, uh, Shirtugo and uh, specialize it and focus it in narrow training and not have wasted skill points. So that's kind of where I, my approach has been. So I started off with the death tree, of course, and these were my basic combat skills, the death transfers here. And so I got those to 40 because with 40 of them, I can have uh, four uh, slots in my combat deck. And then, of course, I did this one, which uh, amplifies both of these. So these were my first skills I trained up. That, and then this one, I needed to get this to 20 to get these two accessed. So with these up, I started to train that to 50. Actually, I did train it all the way to 50. And I was always going to jump down to here. As you can see, I got this 41. Then I changed my mind. And I realized I needed more health. I needed more strength. Strength so I can carry stuff. Because I was running out of uh, carry capacity really quick. But that would which meant uh, going back to towns and unloading fat longer. I can't talk. Which meant going back to towns and unloading more frequently, which means less time spent in the field uh, leveling and stuff. So to do that, I jumped down here to the tactics tree and I built my health up to 25 here, which of course more health is always preferred. And then I jumped down and trained strength. So the more strength you have, the more you can carry. So I got this to 40. And then, of course, with that, the 40 that unlocked this one, Heavy Lifter, which also increases how much you can carry. And um, one thing about these innate skills is that they will eat the shit out of your experience pool really quick. So I kind of had to turn them on and off, on and off as I progressed. And it didn't happen in all one setting because they will really rapidly drain that pool really quick. So um, that was my experience. So that's what I did. I applied a experience points to here which now means I don't have to return to towns as long as quickly as I did before and I have more health here and then also I need a more focus so I got my focus up to here my heightened awareness up to 40 so I'm not running out of focus as much so that's kind of where I'm at with the training and then one other thing I did as I uh this is an area of effect skill so I have this up to 40 now 
and I'm working on getting this up to 40 so I can lock the other area of effect skill, which means for my combat deck, I'll have these both these area of effect skills as what I use. So that's kind of where I'm on path I'm on right now. Get this to 40 so I can unlock this and bring this up to 40. And then once I get that to 40, then I'll rethink and decide where I go from there. So anyways, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to some fighting, shall we? So like I said, this is a forest siege. So the town of Ari is under siege. And of course, we don't pass any corpses without looting them. Uh, that would just be horrible for us to do. Wasted resources there. And of course, here we go. This guy wants to take us on. And oh, look at that, my staff from the, the other day. Woohoo! So he's not going to be able to handle us. So there's that area of effects go here. And then there's that other one I'm working up. And one thing I like to do is that when I have a, a fighter that's up close and personal on me, and then I have a mage off in the distance, uh, kind of throwing fireballs at me, I like to focus my area. Of, I like to target the mage and hit him with my area, of effect, my range skills, and then I like to uh, hit my up close skills on the uh, fighter that's close to me. Kind of two birds one stone mentality. So, and as you can see, I'm already overloaded because I've been doing some skilling today. So. I think we're just going to run through here and not try not to fight too much if we don't can help it. And these guys are so yellow to me, so I actually did some running around in one of these sieges yesterday. And I uh, gained a good amount of experience in my pool and stuff, so definitely a cool place to hang out, these sieges. Another wizard. And these guys are on our side. They're the mercenaries fighting off the bandits that are attacking the town. So they're on our side. And we're past it. Woohoo! And I ordered my, uh, I'm actually planning on building a brand new spanking uh, PC from scratch. Well, not from scratch. I'm going to buy all the components and put it together. And it's going to take me about two months to do that. Because I've noticed uh, my little thing, my Asus R20 or G20 that I have is kind of pushing the limits. And sure, I updated the SSD and got a new 1070 graphics card in and stuff. And it's doing much better now. But I realized I just need to build something from the ground up. So... I actually placed uh, my first order the other day with Amazon for the tower and it came in today and boy that thing is a beauty so I'm looking forward to uh, getting all the components I need to build that thing. So here we are, we're inside of Aerie and we're looking for a blacksmith and they didn't tell us the name, we're just going to look for a blacksmith and see if they can help us find out the information about this bone steel dagger or this dagger that we have. And of course it's raining and miserable and dank. Oh well, such is the life of an adventurer, huh? <laughs> and let's see, we're looking for a blacksmith, so no blacksmith, that's a tavern. Nothing there. That's a bank. I think we're in the general vicinity of a, a blacksmith tavern there. Let's go up here a little bit more. Look at that. Look at that statue there. Oh wait, I see one. That's the sign for a blacksmith right there. So we're going to go talk to this fella and see what he has to say. And what we could do while we're here is we could steal all this uh, stuff here and salvage it down for the metal scraps, which I think we will. Don't mind us, Mr. Blacksmith. We're just uh, borrowing <coughs> your uh, goods 
Thank you for that. I wonder if he's yelling at me yet. Put that back, he says. <laughs> you thief, you'll get what is coming to you. You know what would be funny is if uh, after I talk to him, he won't uh, help me because I uh, stole from him. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it be? Thief, thief, he's screaming. Luckily for me, they haven't implemented any consequence for my thievery in this game yet. Not any serious consequence yet. So, uh, we're not... I'm hanging on to these shimitars, these, actually, because I'm actually building a um, armory back in my place. And these things will look good in those armory racks, so, or the weapons racks. So, we're not going to salvage those. That would just be dumb on our part. But this other stuff that I have here, let's uh, salvage it down and get the metal scraps. Which is a very important key component for any type of uh, crafting that we do. That has to do with um, can making ingots. Caught, um, iron ingots or uh, all the other types of ingots. Gold, not gold. Um, my brain ain't working right now. I need more coffee. Alright, so we got 37 out of that. And it only lets us put 15 in at a time here. And now we're not overloaded anymore, so that's good. And a little bit more. Oh, wow. I had more than I thought I had in there. Ooh. One of our uh, player-owned towns is under siege. I, the, in the chat here, it says, Siege at Crossroads, which is one of our uh, guild towns that we have. All right, there we go. We've got 89 metal scrap, and we're hanging on to those scimitars because, like I said, those will look good in our weapons rack. Now let's see if this fellow will talk to us after we just ripped him off. So, let's see. To talk to these guys, we have to actually click hello here in the chat box. So we say, welcome to open arms, he tells us. There is no finer steel in Aerie, and that is the truth. Well, I don't know about that, but let's see. So we're going to look for the uh, response for the dagger. Oh, uh, there we go. Bone steel dagger. So we're asking about this bone steel dagger. I specialize in steel, but I've never heard of bone steel. I'm curious about it, but sadly, I'm not familiar with it. Hmm. So maybe he's not the right uh, blacksmith for us. Let's see. What else we have here? Um, let's ask him about the town of Barry. In the past, this was a powerful mili military garrison in wars. We believe ourselves to be at peace, so we're focused on trade, but I'm not sure the elves will allow us peace. So ask him about the steel. It is formidable and long-lasting. It doesn't corrode. It doesn't compromise. It is like me. Settle for nothing but the best. The best, you say. Humility is overrated. Kyle and Ives are competent, but they don't specialize in steel the way I do. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. I don't back down. So, he mentioned Kyle and Ives are competent. I wonder if there are other blacksmiths. Sounds like he's uh, competing against them. So, uh, we'll talk about, ask about Kyle here. Kyle Bayran runs airy ironworks in the northern quarter it is just east of the castle so that is another uh he might be the guy we're after and this other guy ives let's see ives 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 looking for the name ives actually uh the Ives is not highlighted which tells me kyle is probably the one we need to talk to because they don't give me a conversation path for the ives character so all right, so uh, Kyle it is. So goodbye, fella. 
Sorry, not really sorry for stealing your stuff, but uh, next time. So, <laughs> talk about a backhanded apology. <laughs> All right. So he said northern quarter next to the castle. So, um, castle, castle, castle. I am heading south. I see the castle, though. I wonder if that's the castle he was talking about. Is that the castle or is that the gate? Hmm. Let's go this way. Kind of northeastery. Looking for a castle. Where is the castle? I think I see a castle in the distance there. Oh, look, there's another blacksmith shop. I wonder if he's the guy. We're looking for Kyle. Shame they don't have their nameplate on the door. Kyle Boulevard blacksmithing. And we could steal from him, but eh, we won't. Uh, Ives. So we're, this is Ives. So he, he his name wasn't highlighted, so I don't think he's the one. We'll ask him anyways. I could be wrong. Of course, we, uh, hello, hello. Hey, Outlanders are always welcome here in the Fine Point. Outstanding, thank you for that. Uh, let's see, looking for Bone Steel. Bone Steel, right here. Tell me about Bone Steel, Ives. Wow, that looks like a trophy from some great battle. But I don't recognize the Maker's Mark on the pommel. Hmm. I guess he is not going to be helping us. Kyle it is, then. Onward to Kyle. And I think I see some big buildings over here. So I bet you the castle's over this way. Looking for a blacksmithing shop. Another one. So this town actually has three blacksmithing shops that I know of and what that means is a person can run from blacksmithing shop to blacksmithing shop and steal in all their uh, goods and salvage them down for all the metal scraps and wood scraps if one was so inclined we haven't hit a crossroad area yet so I'm thinking it's still up here Oh, there's the castle. I bet you it's up there. Uh, you're not it. There it is. I bet you that's it. There's a blacksmithing shop right there. And, yep, there it is. Kyle, he's the guy we want to talk to. And, of course, we say hello to Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Welcome to Airy Ironworks. I'm Kyle Bayrand, and I've forged everything you see before you. Outstanding. I'm glad to hear that. Maybe you can help me with the bone steel dagger. Where is the bone steel? There's the bone steel. Tell me about the bone steel. Now that, that is bone steel, my friend. The toughest metal ever seen by man. Used in only the most powerful of ancient weapons. You have in your hands a relic of the Obsidian Wars. And not only that, look at this mark right here, over the pommel. Forged by Bor Boreas, Boreas, the Titan himself. I don't know what you paid for that, but it is literally priceless. Boreas, you say, huh? Tell us about these Obsidian Wars. Yes, the wars against the Obsidian Sorcerers long ago, back when the Titans walked among us and helped defend us against the rising tide of evil. This is a relic of those days, from the forge of Boreas, the Titan. I'm not sure, I'm not one to believe in coincidence, friend. Follow where this came from, and you might just find Boreas himself. Where did it come from? I don't know where, where that is. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Boreas, tell me about Boreas. You need to go to Vertaz. Go and show them this relic. The Obsidian Wars were like yesterday to them, and perhaps they have knowledge we do not. That's your next step, Traveler Vertaz. The Vertaz then. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're going to Vertaz. Who's it, Vertaz again? Tell me about Vertaz. Vertaz is a city of elves hidden within the snowy mountains range north of here. I know most don't have good to say about elves in this town, but I will tell you this. Treat them with respect, and they will treat you fair. They may be a bit odd, but I know that they find us equally confusing. Look for an elf named Kayakus you visit if you visit he has the most experience with humans i'll say no more so we're going to the town of vertaz where the elves live looking for an elf named kyakas okay good to go that's where we're going then so i'm going to call that a video a short and sweet one and uh, we'll pick this up uh, next time in the town of vertaz which is, uh, well, we'll probably pick it up outside of the town of Airy, and then we'll travel to Vertaz to show you where it's at. So that's uh, been this, uh, this show, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little subscribe button in the bottom right, and don't forget to comment in the comment section. And don't forget to check out those affiliate links in the description as well. And uh, until next time, have a good day.